महालक्ष्मी महासरस्वती महाकाली त्रिगुणात्मिका कुंडलिनी साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माताजी श्री निमला देवी नमो नभा ओ तमीव साक्षात श्री कल की साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माताजी श्री निमला देवी नमो नमः ओम तमीव साक्षात श्री कल की साक्षात श्री सहस्रार स्वामीनी मोक्ष प्रदायिनी माताजी शिनिमला देवी नमो नमः ओम नमस्ते गणपते तमेव प्रत्यक्षम तत्वमसी तमेव केवलम कर्तासी तमेव केवलम धर्तासी तमेव केवलम हर्तासी तमेव सर्वम खलविदम ब्रह्मासी तम साक्षात आत्मा नित्यम ऋतम वज्मी सत्यम वज्मी अवतम माम अवक्तारम अवशोतारम अवदातारम अवधातारम अवानुचानमवशिष्यम अव पश्चाता तब पुरस्ता तब उत्तराता तब दक्षिणाता तब चूर्धाता अवाधराता सर्वतो माम पाही पाही समंता तम वांगमयस्तम चिन्मय तम आनंदमयस्तम ब्रह्ममय तम सच्चिदानंदाशी तम प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासी तम ज्ञानमयो विज्ञानमयोसी सर्व जगद तत्व जायते सर्व जगद तत्स्थिषति सर्व जगद तैलमेश्यति सर्व जगद तय प्रत्यति तम भूमिरापो नलो नीलो न भा तम चरी वाक्पदा तम गुणत्रयाती तम देहत्रयाती तम कालत्रयाती तम मूलाधारिस्तोष नित्यम तम शक्ति त्रयात्मका तम योगिनो ध्यायती नित्यम तम ब्रह्मास्त विष्णुस्त रुद्रस्त इंद्रस्त अग्निस्त वायुस्त सूर्यस्त चंद्रमास्त ब्रह्म भूर्भुवस्व गणादी पूर्व उच्चार्य वर्णादी तदनतर अनुस्वारा पर्तर अर्धेन तुलसी तम तारेण ऋद्धम एतत्मनुष्यूप गकारो पूर्वूपम अकारो मध्यम रूपम अनुस्वारा शांतरूप बिंदुत्तरूप नादसंधान संहिता संधि सैषा गणेश विद्या गणक ऋषि निश्चित गायत्री छंद गणपतिर्देवता ओं गम गणपते नम एक दंताय विमे वक्रतुंडा धीमह तन्नो दंती प्रचोदया एक दंतम चतुर्हस्त पाशम अंकुशारिण व्रदम च वर्दम हस्ते बिभ्राण मूषकधर रक्त लंबोदर शूर्पकर्णक रक्तवासस रक्तगंधालिप्तांग रक्तपुष्पूजित भक्तानुकंपिन देव जगत्कारणमच्युत आविर्भूत च शिष्टाद प्रकृते पुरुषात्पर एवं ध्यायती यो नि स योगी योगिना वरा नमो व्रातपत नमो गणपत नम प्रमथपत नमस्ते अस्तु लंबोदरा एक विघ्ननाशिनी शिवसुताय श्री वरद मूर्त नमो नम साक्षा श्री आदिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला दिव्य नमो नम Today we will do meditation on five sensory organs. We will start the meditation through breathing. Let us take a long breath. Hold it on Sahasrara and exhale it on Central Heart. Let us start. Take a long breath. Hold it. Slowly, steadily. 
take a long breath again hold it exhale from central heart slowly steadily we are practicing in spain in the present breathe in and breathe out slowly steadily now bring our attention on watching feel 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 where we are sitting feel the surrounding temperature whether it is cool or hot feel it feel the texture of your clothing again move your concentration on breathing breathe slowly and steadily now bring our attention on what we hear what we hear try to listen concentrate on your both ears listen the noise in the room any particular noise it may be moving fan or this meditation music try to hear concentrate on your ear now shift your awareness on the eyes what we see by keeping eyes closed complete concentration on our eyes pay attention what you see whether it is lotus feet of shri mata ji or shri mata ji's bindi or nothing just keep the eyes closed and relax now shift your awareness on what we smell what we smell most prominent it may be the fragrance of essence pick in the room any perfume smell deo or any particular smell try to smell it concentrate on the noise bring back attention on breathing breathe slowly and steadily now bring awareness on the taste tongue perhaps it may be coffee or tea just saliva try to concentrate on the tongue tip of the tongue middle part of the tongue complete tongue concentrate on the tongue bring back attention on breathing relax your jaw let us relax complete facial muscles relax both hands legs 
full body. Now bring back our attention inside the body, our subtle system. Let us watch subtle system in Sakshi Bhav, witness death. Watch Muladhara, Swadishthan, Nabhi, Anahat, Vishuddhi, Agya, and Sahasrara. Expose yourself to Param Chaitanya. Expose yourself to Param Chaitanya. No efforts, no thoughts, no request, no prayer. Just expose yourself to Param Chaitanya. Sit in this condition. and absorb mother's speech sit comfortably expose jai shri mata ji all the heavy things all the down. But the Kundalini rises higher and higher and higher because it is like fire. Fire never burns down. It always burns up. She looks also like fire. And she has the capacity of fire. The fire has a capacity to purify and to burn off whatever can be burnt. It purifies the thing which it cannot burn and burns up the thing which are inflammable, which can be burnt. So the quality of fire that exists in the Kundalini burns off whatever we use. Like in our house, we find all the useless things. Then we take them in the garden and burn them. Finished. Once for all, they are finished. So when the Kundalini rises, she also burns up all useless things. All your useless desires, your useless ideas of action, all sorts of useless accumulation of feelings and uh, egos and every sort of a nonsensical thing that is in between. Everything is burnt up because they can be burnt. They are not eternal by nature. They are not eternal. They are temporarily there. All that is temporary, she burns. And that's how she enlightens the spirit, because spirit cannot be burned by anything. But this burning is so beautiful that it burns up all that is bad, stagnating, all that is polluting, all that is a disease, and cools down the heat. It is very interesting to see how this power of fire becomes a cool breeze. So Kundalini within us expedites the living process within us of our evolution. So the power of Kundalini is to purify. She purifies us like fire. She doesn't purify us like water. Surprise. She doesn't purify us like water. Now water, what does the water do? Water never burns off it. But it dissolves certain things. It can take in something within it. It can contain some of the dirt. Supposing you put a color in the water, it 
The Kundalini does not assume the current. She burns. Do you follow my point? So if you have anything wrong with you, she'll burn it off. But she'll not absorb, she's pure. She cannot absorb those things into her that will pollute her. She cannot be polluted. This quality of fire, say for example if you put fire, gold in fire, silver in fire, you can purify it. The pure form comes. That's how you know. But if you put gold and fire in water, nothing will happen. At the most you can wash them from outside. But in and out you cannot do. So outwardly you can do this other thing. But with Kundalini you do in and out. The face also looks beautiful, as if some glazing has taken place on the face. A new bright face. It's not sallow, neither it is horribly worry, nor is it pale and ugly looking. But it becomes radiant, radiance. That's what Udalini gives.